White supremacists yesterday attacked a black politician on the streets in broad daylight and roughed up his entourage, adding to the insult, wearing a racist gorilla mask in the process. How do I know that the attackers of a black politician were white supremacists? Because I guarantee you that CNN and New York Times and MSNBC would have portrayed it this way, the same way that they portray the Capitol rioters as an insurrection, which the FBI later stated there was no evidence of, as well as white supremacists. White rage, they called it, over and over and over again. This is the narrative for everything. White supremacy. Joy Reid, Don Lemon would have come on the air and stated, America is full of white supremacy. The systemic racism that pervades our nation is demonstrated right here. Look at this individual with a gorilla mask, this white supremacist attacking a democratic politician. Here we go. Bike on the right, right here. Oh, apparently man. In this case, the candidate's name is Larry Elder, who's conservative. They don't even report on it. It doesn't even make the news. I looked at New York Times and CNN, and it wasn't even listed there. These are not news organizations. These are ideological purveyors that are trying to convince people to come over to their side. And ad nauseum, repeat the phrase, white supremacy. Guaranteed, once again, if the candidate had been Barack Obama in 2012 and somebody had done this, it would have been white supremacy all over the place. And they would have done this and played this on loop to get sympathy for the candidate and to earn votes. Instead, they don't even report on it. These people are obviously sick. Now, you might ask, what might lead to the attack? Well, the answer is quite simple. When you have the Los Angeles Times using this headline, Larry Elder is the black face of white supremacy. You've been warned. Do you understand how this leads people who are warped in the head or off or really ideologically possessed? to believe that it gives them guidance and the latitude and permission almost to go and attack such a horrible white supremacist, this black man, Larry Elder. It's a guarantee that these grifting organizations would have framed it in white supremacist terms. Tell me that I'm wrong in the comments section. I don't think that there's any doubt about it. Instead, not reported. So you guys share the video and make sure that people know what is going on so that they leave these organizations that are trying to poison the minds of Americans and divide us with identity politics. These people weren't even arrested. They would have had hate charges on them if they had attacked uh, Raphael Warnock of Georgia the senator who somehow won his seat despite being a very hateful man. This is all that they're trying to do is divide our nation. So peace out, share the video, thumb it up, subscribe, hit the all notification bell if you do. Thumb up the video, have a fantastic day and share it because people need to know what's going on here. Peace out.